Oh my gosh, it's absolutely incredible. And you know, I feel like I myself have grown as a person and I'm definitely gonna take everything I've learned back back to do and apply them to my life and my academics and with my future career. This isn't just a school, it's also the centerpiece of Dr. Chigongo's like health foundation he founded here called the Nama Health Collaboration. So the school is really a base to reach out to the entire community. So whenever we do any like community projects like the solar water disinfection, we like send the students to go home and tell their parents and then they spread it out to the community. So this is really like working with the community center, not just a school. For the past three years I've been working through global health courses. I've been able to, you know, interweave and interrelate concepts and ideas from those courses, but I never really had an experience such as this to put those concepts and ideas into context. And coming here and and seeing a lot of these things that I've read about and studied, you know, being culturally aware, um, that's, that's really the biggest thing that this experience has given to me. I think it's pretty incredible that a university like Duke can offer such a unique opportunity to students, undergraduate students, without being able to fund people like this. Like I would never have had the opportunity to come here and do what I can to try and help the community. We as the Merinia staff and the, the community at large, we do welcome and we, we, we are very thankful, grateful for the coming of this Duke University. They are doing a very important work in the community and at the school particularly. The work that they do it is not only for the Namia community, it is for the for the district and the Uganda as a as a country, as a nation.